Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cater. All right, Josh and Elise, ever since Sundance, I have been dying to see Wiener. Congratulations on the Grand Jury Award. Thank you. Thank when you. you. When you get to tell one of the most complex, unique, and crazy political stories of all time as filmmakers, walk me through that process. Well, I think, you know, one of the things that we're really excited about is that you see celebrity meltdowns and scandals play out all the time in the news, but you rarely get the opportunity to be in the room while it happens. In our film, you get a front row seat about what it really means to be at the center of a media firestorm. Josh, you knew Anthony prior to this. How, getting this type of access is one thing, but getting it through a troubled situation is a whole nother. Talk to me about having that full access with Anthony and Huma. Yeah, so Anthony is someone that I'd known for many years. I actually worked for him when he was in Congress and I was working in politics. And so uh, he and I knew each other well through that work. And then when he resigned from Congress after I had left politics, you know, he and I talked for actually a couple of years about the possibility of making a documentary and finding a way to tell his story that might get beyond the punchline that he became after his scandal. And so that really was our intention going in, was to round him out as a more complete person and give people a sense that he's you know, more nuanced and complex than you might think from reading uh, the tabloid headlines. The fascinating thing is, we obviously think of him as the punchline now, but he was one of the most successful New York politicians. What do you think made him so successful? What made him so tenacious? Because you guys really focus on that aggression and that ambition in the film. You know, Anthony is a tremendously talented politician, and you get to see that in our film. He really fought for progressive issues, and I think New Yorkers, you know, really loved him. Huma is another half of the equation in this, and obviously we know with Huma, she is now Hillary Clinton's chief of staff. How was she through the whole process? Well, I think in the same way that Anthony was ridiculed and reduced, you know, in the tabloid headlines and, and on cable news, you know, so was she standing alongside him. And so in the course of our film, you get to see a different side of her. You get to see a more, you know, nuanced and complex portrait of her as a, as a full human being. The critical reception to this has been insane. Talk to me as filmmakers. Obviously, you don't do this for the awards, but what's it like when you're getting that type of critical reception for something you've made? We're just so excited. It's completely, it's a dream come true as documentary filmmakers, and we're really excited for people to see our film, and we're excited about a premiere.